Gives them an element of tailback they haven't had for a while. Here is Anderson. They got to him right away. Anderson. And Hunter Johnson kept it. Touchdown, Northwestern. Just make sure he gets in without that knee. Nice job. The back foot inbounds hits before. Big guy. Jesse Brown with a big run. So far, they ran a center and guard pull to the outside. And these Wildcat offensive linemen are doing a really nice job targeting. Drake Anderson. And I tell you what, Thomas, they pull him a lot. They've done it all game. That's part of their DNA offensively. Doing a nice job. 40 of his 90 coming this quarter. How about going deep again? That time connects. J.J. Jefferson. That's how well placed. I mean, that's perfectly in stride. We saw earlier in the game, he threw the interception. He underthrew one of his wide receivers. He had the pump fake, got the DB to stop his feet. J.J. Jefferson does not even have to break stride to look that football in for the touchdown. And your, your facility is connected to a beach. <laughs> Anderson again, and into the end zone for the touchdown. touchdown. Second touchdown in two games for Drake. There's his dad, Damien. Was rough game for the Wildcats at home. Hard to tell if he got that ball across and when the knee went down. You see the knee, but where's the ball? The knee was down, but where was the ball? You can punt it deep and let your defense go play. They got the job done. And then commit the penalty. And there goes Drake Anderson. He finds a crease and gets to midfield before he's stopped by Colin Wilder. 31-yard game. Block the linebacker, don't need to. Drake Anderson, Damian Anderson's son, freezes him in the hole and uses speed. First down. And walking into the end zone is Drake Anderson with a touchdown. Now, I'm not sure if Pat Fitzgerald is leaving his offense on the field to go for two. Had the wrong number. That was number two. Calls for pass interference. And Smith extending the play. Into the back of the end zone for Jefferson for the touchdown. Beautiful play by Aiden Smith. Talked about coming into the game as a backup quarterback. One of the things is, when you're down, you can play free. The aggressive play calling, or the aggressive mindset by the backup. Blitz by Lamar Jackson had an impact on the throw, no question. First and goal. He keeps it. Touchdown. That's big for Smith and big for Northwestern. Excellent job of reading and reacting. Number two crashes down on the outside and does a fantastic job of pulling this ball and reading it properly. And Riley Lees, who leads the team with 29 receptions, gets a gain of 13 there, and then they go on the ground. And Kyrick McGowan, look out! The wide receiver turned running back is off to the races. 10-5, touchdown! BT and standout presented by Auto Owners Insurance. Well, speaking to head coach Pat Fitzgerald, he said we needed to find a way to get Kyrick McGowan the football more. That's a simple handoff, and he takes it the distance. Hit as he throws, James diving, and he's got it for the touchdown. Yeah, well, Mick McCall has his quarterback in rhythm right now, and as Purdue off balance, as Aiden Smith stands in there, takes a shot from Carl Loftus, but delivers the touchdown pass anyway. Aiden Smith trying to get him back to Painter. Pressure coming, throws for the end zone, and it's caught for the touchdown, touchdown by Riley Lee. Yeah, nice job this time. Smith looking to lead the entire way. And you see him secure the possession.
BTN Auto Owners Insurance standout play. The block and the Bergen pickup. And who else but Joe Gaziano with the block. Your offense is struggling. Your defense is struggling. But your special team... Smith again to Hall, and what a hole the freshman has. Hall to the 50, and UMass saves a possible six points. Thomas, the center, 65, gets a good push along with Jarek. And he's got five yards on Isaiah Rogers. Isaiah Rogers has that speed, though, to hawk him down. Johnson, who had been a starter, started the season here for Northwestern, listed as the fourth string here today. Here's Hall, sheds off a tackler. He's got end zone in sight, and he has his second touchdown of the day. Up front. Just his own play, cuts it back, and Tyrus LeBeau just misses on the tackle, and then Hall smartly runs the opposite direction. Bats balls down. He drops in coverage and hopefully gets a sack. Up. He's dropping back in coverage again on this play. It's intercepted this time by Blake Gallagher, and the takeaway here for Northwestern, a much-needed one here for the defense. Gallagher's still on his feet. Someone can't pull him down. Across the 15. Just dropping deep here. Reads it the whole way, comes underneath the receiver, O.C. Johnson, makes one man miss. Dingle breaks the tackle, cuts it back against the grain. I love replays because it's going to act like a play-by-play. -play. <laughs> Catches the ball, Blake Gallagher. There he goes, he breaks the tackle by Dingle. Then he gets his foot free. Wade misses him, he's down the side. I wonder if he gets paid by his teammates or if it's just all... He doesn't get paid. Curtis. He gets paid in hugs and handshakes. Down the sideline, Ho! Oh, staying in bounds and flirting with a third touchdown of the day he's got it touchdown. look at the balance here stretch play into the boundary beats the tackle no here's the balance here it looks like he's getting knocked out of bounds does not able to have the strength to stay in bounds and stays in bounds here and the defense has been sound they haven't got the turnovers but they've had can all make it for you pets what a day Evan Hall the burst through the hole though Burst through the hole and nobody's going to catch him. Evan Hull. Marty instead looks left. He's going to float one. Jump ball in the end zone. That's a catch by touchdown. Jace James for a touchdown. We might have a football game. How about the throw by Marty? Throw it up to Jace James, the young sophomore. Three-man rush. Morgan over the middle. An easy interception for Blake Gallagher. Just drop underneath, right side of the screen, 51, reads Tanner Morgan's eyes, takes him right to the football. He's trying to fit a seam behind there to Bateman. Just a really good job of linebacker play. Quarterbacks, their eyes will tell you where they want to go with the football. Threw it right to him. 15th play of the drive. Quarterback run again, and a touchdown for Andrew Marty. Watch the right guard, 52, pull around, Andrew Marty, big block. That big six foot three, three. 113th meeting between Northwestern and Illinois. Marty, daylight, touchdown, Northwestern. This is a counter type move. The offensive line is blocking to the right. Hugh, the motion man. Marty, deep middle, Lees. Touchdown, Northwestern! By everybody for Northwestern. You get a straight drop back pass, and you get Lees, who's just streaking down the middle of the field. And again, I talk about the secondary guys. Northwestern is 5 of 11 on third down. This is Azima with a burst. Who's going to catch him? Deep into Northwestern territory, Lees throws down a block, and Hobbs finally tracks down Azima. Well, take a look, Ramad Jokio Bowman on the outside, number 81. He has to sustain this block for a good three seconds just for Azima to get out there, and that was the block that sprung him for. Two tight ends set, quarterback plunge. Marty pushed across the goal line for a touchdown. Who's now? as Illinois falls behind two touchdowns again. Well, I, I know that we've kind of beaten this thing about his toughness and how hard he is to bring down. You might be able to keep him quiet for a quarter, maybe even a half, but then 
when they get going, look out. It can run away from you in a hurry. And speaking of running away, look at R Raymond Nero. All the way out of bounds at the 40-yard line. situation is here. Well, pretty typical zone little read here. And it's just the offensive lineman hat for a hat moving the guys out of the, the way. Play.